The challenge today is to make a sunny side down egg. Now, you might be familiar with the sunny side up egg. That's the egg that's it's cooked, the whites are cooked, the yolk is still runny, and all the heat is coming from the bottom up from the pan. So my sunny side down egg is going to be the same thing, except all the heat's going to be coming from the top not the bottom. And I'm going to do that by using my kitchen torch. And that's basically how it's going to go. So I got my torch, as I said, butane for the torch, lucerne eggs. I wish I had Kroger eggs, but the closest one's 200 miles away. But I only got four eggs, so hoping that'll be enough and my skillet and stove top which is not going to be turned on so i'm also going to go check youtube see how ramsey says to make sunny side up eggs just to get an idea here uh, Scrambled eggs. Master Chef, season four, episode 18. We'll see how they say to make eggs. Introducing Hefty Slider Bags with an expandable bottom. Easy to stand, easy to fill, and easy to chill. Have you haven't guessed it, you will be cooking us eggs. Okay, so one is they used an 8 inch pan, not a 10 inch. So I'm going to trade out for an 8 inch. They were also said to use oil, not butter. So let's use some oil. And I'm going to need a spatula. So another thing is that, according to that show at least, the sunny side up egg is not crispy at all. I guess that's more of a fried egg. And that's what I thought I would be doing. So I'm gonna have to be real careful to keep the heat low and not directly on it. Otherwise that's gonna definitely crisp it up. So we'll see how indirect I can be here. Um, I've never really used this before, so we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, first. I'm thinking low heat, I'll probably want it to be at the lowest setting. I'm not sure what that is. It's farther out, but it seems less aggressive.
Let's change the camera angle and get started. I can see the heat affecting the oil. There, I hit the egg too hard and immediately see the white just whiten up. I'm thinking the higher setting might actually have more legs to it. So obviously I'm going to stay farther back, but I might try like this. starts to whiten real easy. The egg does, it moves quite a bit when the flame, the gas is hitting it. So I can use that to sort of judge how solid it is because from this part on, I'm not expecting the color to really change. It should stay white. Now it's okay that the yolk here is white on top, because again, it's sunny side down. So the other side of the yolk should still be pretty sunny. It does look like it's starting to dot a little bit. I'm thinking I might need to put a little oil on the top here. Also, I haven't decided how I want to plate it. Uh, it would be nice if I had a glass plate and then I would just slide it on like this. Since I don't, I'm thinking I might have to flip it when I plate it. So it would look the same as a sunny side up egg. You would just have to know that it was cooked differently. The yolk's more love here. It is starting to put a lot of dots in the white as it cooks. Ooh, pop. Um, I'm not getting the jiggle when I brush the flame against it, which should mean that it's solidifying all the way through.
having the real small micro dots over here. They're a lot bigger over here. Sort of looks like a pancake. That's what I think I'm going to go with. You know your pancake's ready to flip when it's got the dots that don't collapse. Well, my egg's got dots, so once these dots appear everywhere, I think we're going to call it done here. Because this is pretty hot. I'm definitely applying a lot of heat to this egg. And I don't think sunny side up should take that long. Little growth there. I kind of want to pop that, but... Alright. As a first try, I think we're going to plate it. I wish I had a thinner spatula here, but I don't. Non-stick works well, but only when it's hot. Um, I think I am going to try to flip it here onto the plate. Well, that's not very sunny. Not a bad consistency. Uh, all of the whites are cooked. The yolk is still a little bit runny. Definitely safe to eat. But there is still this film over it. And I'm not sure how I would need to remove that. Because on the sunny side up egg, the yolk sits and the whites sort of fall off of it. Since the whites are down and the yolk sits on top of it, I'd have to pull it away to get the yolk to fall through. And I'm not sure if that's possible. Okay, for attempt two, I think I'm gonna try the same idea generally because it worked. But once I have it a little bit solidified, and I think that that's going through to the bottom, I'm going to try to move it around. So the idea is I'm going to try to smear that yolk around, maybe move it off of some of the whites. So let's try that. more aggressive here because everything worked great last time. I'm painting. I'm 
my camera cut off there, but luckily it beeped at me, so I knew to stop. I'm not sure what that's about. slide with it. That white is still, it's still just resting on that, that thick pocket of white, you know? I might have to try just I think on my next one, I'm gonna try using a fork and try to just pierce it. Actually, I'm gonna try it now. Just pierce under that pocket, let it drain a little bit even. All that egg white that was resting under it is now moved out. Hopefully. Again, sunny side down. Let's get rid of the sun on top. The pan is heating up a bit. I'm not sure if I'm just not targeting it well enough, but I might switch to the bigger pan because that would disperse the heat more. Uh, because I do want the heat to come from the top, not from the pan. I must be running out of gas because my flame is definitely lowering. I think I'm going to see how this goes. I don't have nearly as many bubbles. I do have little burn spots because, because I burned it. But I think this should be less well done than the last one. But it's been a while since it was jiggly. I think it might be good.
It's not coming out how I want it to. Definitely less hooked than the last one. I'm afraid of popping the yolk and ripping the lights. I gotta say, I think that that's a success. It's a little messy here. Um, clearly it's, it's not a completely sunny day, there's a little bit of clouds, but much better than before. All of the whites are cooked. Yeah, that's almost not cooked. It's a little, nah. We're gonna say that that's actually not cooked. But it's really close. My yolk is quite runny, but it is hot. So that's, that's real close. I think I'm gonna get it on attempt number three. I have to fill up my torch again first, and then I'm gonna get it for sure. I wonder if I should try to separate it at the very beginning. You know, right now it's sitting in that the big sack. I could try to separate it now. Pop it, drain it out a little. No, I don't like that. Because it's just going to get whites everywhere. I think I need to solidify it a little bit and then drain it. It worked well last time, so why change it, right? Sun.
I don't want to rip it too much because it doesn't completely reseal. I don't want that crack to be there at the end. And it really doesn't seem like much came out or it didn't sink down. But it didn't seem like that last time and it did a really good job. So I'm just going to hope that it's doing the same thing as last time. Don't like the sticky spot. Just, I think the middle of this pan's a little beat. Now that's okay, it's on the bottom anyway, right? I think right now is about the point when I flip the other one over. These whites are all done. Uh, it's just that that sack area. I want to make sure I get the whites all the way through. Maybe the yolk a little more done. The pan is pretty hot. I forgot to, I forgot to oil the, the top of it. Maybe I should put butter down on the top, on this side, and sort of cook the butter into it. Hmm. It's an idea for next time. Let's see how firm this yolk is. ready to come out. Let me get a clean plate here for our winner. It's definitely ready to come out, but it's definitely not non-stick at all. Again, I think it's just that cold. Problem, they just not, they don't work in the cold. My spatula is too thick, I can't really get under it in a good spot. the yolk done. Well, the whites are all cooked. The yolk is cooked appropriately. It's a little bit cloudy. Not a Ramsey worthy one. I actually like the second one a little better. I'm still going to Call it a success though. With this method, I think I could come with one that's real good. I didn't 100% hit my standards this time, but that's just the way things go. Challenge complete.